back in the end zone? Uh, maybe never. I mean, like, you know, you look at the season totals and it has not been impressive. It's not been impressive. I, 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 early in the season, it seemed like the Cowboys were having really lousy luck. They had tons of red zone opportunities and well, very little red zone scoring. Um, you could say the same about the Rams, too, at least the passing portion of the Rams. Uh, the, the positive touchdown regression seems almost certain to, at some point soon for, for both teams, but you're still playing, Lamb? Uh, you're hoping the volume comes through. You're hoping that has a big game. This is not here's uh, here's my um. Right. Now where, okay. You know, we're probably lane playing. 12 on the right. we're probably Understood. Lane 12. Thank you. In favor of CD Lamb's pass. Well, since you're talking about wide receivers and guys getting into the end zone, okay? How about the Adams? All right. Let's go out, low back. Morning. Guys, you Thank you. Exciting. Just follow that follow that Chevy. I'm hopeful that I start getting some return on the value, but if I think I'm getting the, the season-long return on the investment I made in draft this summer, I'm probably, uh, that plus is already lost. We're going to stick to the wide receiver top. Another guy who is pretty cool for the wide receivers is Devontae Smith. All right, we know what that means. We're going up against the Commanders today, and a lot of folks think that this is going to be a bounce-back game for him, especially with the way he played last year against the Commanders. you guys agree? What do you got? Well, uh, I, I like Devonta Smith a great deal. The targets have been acceptable, but yeah, A.J. Brown's just hogging a lot of the spotlight. Ever since that week two sort of sideline tirade that A.J. Brown threw, he has been unstoppable where Devonta, the Slim Reaper, has been... Uh, very forgotten in this offense. I do think it's a good matchup for him and the passing game overall. It's one of those players that I would hate to sit because his breakout will be big. When you're getting you know, eight to plus targets in the Eagles offense, you're 
likely to explode in some big games here and there. I'm going to wait it out. I'm going to continue to start Devontae Smith. It's a riskier play, but, you know, I, after hearing Jonathan Allen talk in that time, the Washington talk, uh, they're going to be in the house. I know. Follow that Chevy. I think the Phillies are going to throw the ball to beat Washington. It's just a very competitive game. I think that makes sense. All right, Bob, let's recap. We're in pretty good shape here. Trevor Lawrence active as we expected against the Pittsburgh Steelers. And Jose Jones. Curtis Daniels active for the Commanders. Uh, Robert Woods out for the Texans. Ryan Tannehill out for the out for the Titans. And we will see Will Levis as the likely starter with maybe some Malik Willis mixed in. Luke Musgrave is out.